Good morning or good day whenever you see this. Um, I'm doing this on the morning of Thursday, September 17th, 2020. Um, hope your day is has been or week has been going well. It's hard to believe. We're already over half done with September, isn't it? And this weekend is when fall is supposed to begin. We're having fall weather and it sounds like it may get warmer again as next week goes on. But well, that's the transition, isn't it? And we're getting close to being warmer most of the time. Well, um, I wanted to share with you uh, one of the readings from for this coming Sunday. We're reading from the book of Jonah. And Jonah is kind of a fun book, and there have been some fun plays kind of written about Jonah, too. You know, he goes, he, he doesn't want to go where God wants him to go. And prophets were supposed to do that when they were prophets of God. And so he had to spend a little time in a fish. And of course, we like to call it a whale, but in the Bible, it just says it's a fish. He was in a fish three days and three nights, I think, too. You know, sometimes um, when we're in a funk of some kind, sometimes we spend some time kind of away kind of like Jonah had to get his mind, his head turned on straight and so he could do the things that God called him to do. And he went back, he didn't want to go and minister to Nineveh. He hated the Ninevites, and so he went in the opposite direction. But then he turns around, he goes back, he does a short sermon in, Genesis, in Jonah 3, chapter 4, or chapter 3, verse 4, that's his, the shortest sermon, and he got a big, big turnaround. The Ninevites all repented. God decided to spare the city. Jonah, he objected to this and became even more angry when God ordered a worm to destroy a plant that was providing shade for him. The book ends with a question that challenges any of us who are not ready to forgive. And we've been having a lot of forgiving going on, haven't you? And then you, Jonah, all worked up about a bush. But God says, I shouldn't be concerned about 120,000 Ninevites. Oof. Here's the, the reading of the text for this Sunday from beginning at Gen, uh, Jonah 3, verse 10. But this was very displeasing. Oops! When God saw that the people of Nineveh, what the people of Nineveh did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his, God's mind from the calamity God said that He would bring up on them. God did not do it. But this was very displeasing to Jonah, and he was so angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, "O oh Lord." Is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled to Tarshish at the beginning. For I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, ready to relent from punishing. And now, O oh Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city, sat down east of the city, made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what was going to become of the city. The Lord God appointed a bush and made it come up over Jonah to give shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was very happy. He loved the bush. And when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm to attack the bush, and the bush withered. When the sun rose, God prepared a sultry east wind. The sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, it is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the bush? And, God, and Jonah said, yes, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned about the bush for which you did not labor and for which you did not grow. It came to being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons 
who do not know their right hand from their left, and also many animals? <laughs> well, frankly, we don't really like the way God does things. It's where it, God's justice is too much in positive direction from the, uh, uh, toward those people that we don't like. Like Jonah, we want God who is slow to anger and full of steadfast love for people. We don't think deserve it, especially those we would consider our enemies. That's why Jonah ran away from God. You see, Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrians who had destroyed the northern kingdom of Israel in 722 B.C. Now God told Jonah to preach repentance to them. Jonah was afraid to do this because he knew of God's love and God's mercy, something that he did not want showered upon those people he hated. Jonah was right, and that's the way it happened, and it caused him to be very angry. How are we? We're so divisive and so divided, especially politically. But God loves that other person just as much as God loves us, as much as we hate to realize it and, real, and admit it. And so, can that help us to cool our jets a little bit and to realize God's love of us all and that we are one human family? Let us pray. Gracious, merciful God, give us the faith to step out to love your generosity for everyone, especially those that, that we may feel like a lot of hatred toward and that are so different in thinking and doing from us. Please, Lord, we lay before you for your mercy. Help us, O oh Lord. And we pray that you continue to walk with us as we're dealing with the COVID-19 crisis. Help the truth to come out about what we are called to do and be. May we realize those things that are going to keep us the safest that we can be and to stop doing those things that are cause, going to cause hurtful, mean things to happen. Help us to trust the people who are educated in this. Help us to realize that they can help us the best that we are able to stay as safe as possible. We pray that you would be with all of our school administrators, our teachers, our students. We pray that you'll help us all to work together to do what will keep us safe. We pray for parents as they do their best to try to help their children. We know that we want to do what is according to your will and to trust that you have given, gifted us with people who can help us to stay safe. Lord God, all these things, anything else you see that we need, please grant us through your Son who taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, the prophet Jonah is often called reluctant, and we can see why. And how are we reluctant as we deal with those around us? And how do we help others to see our gracious God is a loving God? And so may the example of Jonah be in front of us to help us to realize we do have a God of justice, but also of the mercy overrides the justice. Thank you for today. I hope you have a good day, good weekend. Bye for now. See you Friday.